good evening so today we will be discussing experiment 4 that is a convolution of given LTI system so we will be performing linear convolution on certain discrete time sequences and uh, the signals that the systems are given to us as you can see these four over here are our systems and uh, four signals have been given to us I will be using my report since my MATLAB had to be reinstalled so for any convolution, we need the impulse response for that particular system. So for these four systems, my impulse responses are H1, H2, H3 and H4. Next, um, going into my code, I am loading all the given four signals. These are the four signals that I was given. And I am plotting all those four signals. Next, we go to the convolution part. So we know that uh, Y of N is equal to X of N converted with H of N where x of n is my input signal, h of n is the impulse response for that particular system and I will be using a function that I have named disc underscore con um, let's go to that function first so this over here is my function I am taking inputs as my input signal and its impulse response and I am zero padding both my sig uh, input signal and the impulse response to make the lengths equal then there is this nested for loop that I am using to give me the output. My final output after all i values are covered will give me the convolution result of that particular signal and its impulse response for that particular system. So for system 1 I calculated the convolution results. Then for system 2 since we have capital M equal to 25, 50 and 100. So for all values I have calculated. Similarly for system 3 and 4 and here I am plotting all those results. Let's go to the plots. So as you can see this is my first input signal x2 it's called clean ppg. Second input signal x3 third input signal x4 and the last input signal is xp2. This has some baseline model that is a shift in the signal. So uh, for the A part was finding the impulse response that we covered. The second part, um, since we are not actually given the ECG, PCG and speech signals, uh, what I did is a bit different. But first let's uh, see the plots for the convolution of the first signal X2 with all six systems. This is for system 1. This is a convolution result for system 2, M equal to 25, M equal to 50 m equal to 100 this is a convolution result with system 3 and system 4 similarly these are the plots for the convolution of second signal x3 with all six systems if you observe something you see that uh, these curves uh, let's if i consider these normal then these curves are, are something that has a very high frequency as relative to what we saw for system 1 and 2. This will come handy later, this information. Similarly, the convolution result of a third signal and our fourth signal that is uh, the one con containing the baseline model. So from these plots we conclude that the best system to remove high frequency noise is system 1 and 2 and to remove low frequency noise is system 3 and 4. The best system to remove baseline wonder is system 3. This we observed from this particular graph. And the system that gives the most accurate output that is uh, when you give an input signal your output should look similar to your input signal right. So that is happening when we use system 1. Part C was to sketch the output of each system we completed. Part B is writing the observations. So upon passing these signals through this system, uh, we observe that system 1 and 2 act as low pass filters and system 3 and 4 act as high pass filters. So that is what we saw, uh, we saw previously that system 3 and 4 were giving us output that had like very drastic changes. So you can say that they were high frequency outputs. Next is part E. So based on uh, system 2 that we have over here, we are supposed to decide on a value of capital M which is uh, good enough to 
remove the baseline wonder from our uh, signal that is called baseline PPG. So what we know is that system 2 uh, is acting like a low pass filter and your baseline wonder is basically a low pass noise signal. So we take a very large value of M, not very large actually, just 100 which makes the difference equation in system 2 act as a narrow low pass filter which can give us an output that has a baseline with some high frequency components when the input is converted. What it basically does is first let's load our uh, input signal. I'm creating uh, the impulse response H is such that when I put delta N instead of X of N and for capital M equal to 100 this is the output that I'm getting this H. Now I'm convolving my input signal with this capital, a small h, and it is giving me an output that is basically the baseline wonder in our input signal. So to remove this baseline wonder from our input signal, we are simply subtracting it from our input signal. So this is the removing trend line part, and finally I'm plotting these, all three curves. So if you can see my input signal XB2, it was, um, it had a bit of a shift from 400 to 1000, right? That shift, that baseline wonder can be seen in the second curve. When I remove this baseline wonder from my input signal, this is the curve that I get. Although this has some delay, we'll learn about it in later classes. Next is our part F. So part F is basically writing all properties that we studied in the theory class. For an observation, when I found the impulse response for this first system, I have written over here. Uh, we can we uh, observe that. The first system is memory since impulse response is not k of delta n which is a condition for a system to be memoryless. It is also non-invertible and Gaussian since h of n is equal to 0 for uh, all n less than 0. It is also stable and it's a finite impulse response and it's a linear time invariant system uh, since it's already given in the question. Similarly for system 2. System 3 and System 4. So, all these systems are actually memory, causal, non invertible, stable, LTI, and FIR. Uh, a final conclusion is that we found the convolution of all four input signals for all six systems, and we can conclude that System 1 and 2 are uh, best to remove noise of high frequency. And System 3 and 4 are best to remove noise of low frequency, but system 3 is best to remove the baseline wonder, which is basically noise of low frequency. And system 1 gives us the clearest and the most accurate output. So with this we conclude our uh, assignment.